Yeah. Uh, and her overhead is, she went big with the, the place, you know? Yeah. There are more people showing up? Um, not here, uh, on, on, on street. So I'll uh, okay. give two minutes here. Yeah, she went so big. I mean, it's like. Did you say the rent alone is like a couple grand? Hers? Yeah. Oh, dude, it's like freaking 15 grand. A month? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, so this whole thing is forever, you know. Some people are complaining, you know, about about you know thirty dollars know, classes and that. I'm like, yeah. Let's see, surprise, it's still up. She's she's being so supportive of all my stuff you know, here. She, Hi, <laughs> Elaine. Hey, this is Hi. Can you, can you I'm, see I'm, okay? I'm, yeah, I'm calling for my daughter. Yeah, hold on just a second. Um, sure. Hold on just a moment here. Let me see. Just a moment. We're still waiting on two people here, so um we'll give it another minute, okay? Okay. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you can hear me okay. Okay, good. All right, so uh, we have a couple other people signed up for class, but they're not on yet, so um, I'll give it 30 more seconds here and see if they come on, and then we'll go ahead and start class. Uh, has Tom been showing up? That was the name, right? Tom, you're driving a Ford truck to do the park uh, sessions? Yeah, uh, no, he hasn't been coming here.
All right. So, I'm Brian. I'm going to be your guide through your Hatha practice today. Um, we're going to go with traditional Hatha. So, let's come to standing on our mats. Come to the middle of your mat. Stand at attention. Feet together. And start to ground down. So what I mean by that is feel the mat underneath your feet. And begin to engage your quads so much the tailbone lifts up and points forward. Spread your fingers wide towards the front of your class and then roll your shoulders back. Roll your shoulders back. Close your eyes for just a moment here. And set an intention for your practice. Why are you here? What do you need from today's practice? Let's start by Taking a deep, deep breath in through the nose. Open now. Blink your eyes open. Bring your hands underneath your chin. Interlace your fingers. Rest your thumb against your chin. Elbows squeeze together. Pronoun breathing. It's a six count breath. Into your lungs completely. Inhale six. Elbows rise up to bring your, your beautiful face. Two, one. Open mouth, exhale. Drop the head back. Squeeze the elbows towards the front of the room. Inhale, six, five, four. Elbows come up to frame your beautiful face. And exhale. Squeeze the elbows together. Point them towards the front of the room. Again, inhale, six, five. Elbows come up, 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 four. Three, two, exhale, squeeze the elbows together and drive them towards the front of the room, head falls back. Good, inhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Head back, right? Yeah, there, now drop the chin. Inhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Inhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Three more. Make them big. Inhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open your mouth. Exhale, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Two more. Inhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Head back, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one, biggest one. Inhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two. Empty the lungs. Arms by your sides, Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Heart lifted up. Good. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, circle, sweep your arms up overhead. Interlace your fingers above your head. Steeple grip here. Squeeze the palms together, pull the elbows back behind your ears. And then start to tick tock right, left. Right, left, breaking up the side body here, back and forth, back and forth. You want to try to squeeze your palms so tight the biceps touch your ears. Now come straight up and down and tilt your tailbone forward, look up between your hands, take a couple little back bends, just little ones here. Good, now breathe in, reach up. Exhale, flat back, fold down, all the way down. And at the bottom of your fold, walk out. A little right, a little left, right, left. And squat it out a couple times, then knees come up on tippy toes, forehead comes between the knees, heels up on. You can turn the hands around, palms down, 
flex the fingertips back towards you, stretch out your hands. Good. Refine your steeple grip, please. Interlace your fingers. Inhale, rise, flat back. Straighten your legs as you come up. And then keep the arms up overhead. First set, Ardhachandrasana, half moon pose. Breathe in, reach up high. Exhale to the right with your half moon pose. Right away, engage your quads so much the kneecaps lift up and pop. Good. Right shoulder forward, left shoulder comes back. Now give your left hip a bump forward and then squeeze your glutes hard in. Take a deep breath and then come down. Breathe in, exhale, come down. How far can you push the left hip past the left heel? Breathe in, exhale, come down. Keep reaching, keep breathing. Remember, right shoulder forward, left shoulder back, left hip bumps forward. Squeeze those glutes. Breathe in and come down. Hold right there. You're almost there. Inhale. Exhale, come down. Three, two, inhale, rise. Nice work. That's where we break the sweat right here. Take a deep breath, arms up, squeeze the biceps ears to the left, hard and chandrasana, half in the pose. Again, right away, left shoulder forward, right shoulder back. Engage the quads so much the kneecaps lift up and pop. Roll the glutes in, give the right hip a bump forward, just a little bump. Now inhale, exhale, come down. Inhale, and then come down. How far can you push right hip past right heel? Breathe in. And come down. Keep reaching. Suction cup, palms together. And then squeeze the elbows, extend the arms. Breathe in and come down. Hold right there. You're almost there. Breathe in and come down. Three, two, breathe in the rise. Good work, you guys. All right, look up through your hands. Engage the quads, roll the glutes in. Take a deep breath, draw a line across the ceiling as you push the hips forward. Look back, more back, way back, clear back, and change. Breathe in, lift up, reach out, fold, all the way down. And then once again, walk it out. Little right, left, right, left. One leg bends, then the other. Good. For Padahastasana, hot style, hands to feet pose. Bend your knees so much. Then reach back and scoop underneath your heels here. You're stepping on all five fingers. If you bend your knees enough, you can do this. Then drop your head down, drop your head. Good. Now squeeze the elbows back to sign your calves. Take a deep breath. Exhale, pull. Breathe in, lean into toes, and pull and straighten your legs. Drop your head, Sarah. Breathe in. Exhale, pull. Inhale, lean into the toes, and then pull. Breathe in, exhale, pull, pull, and then change. Interlace your hands above, or interlace with a steeple grip, and then inhale, rise, nice and slow. Exhale, arms by your sides, Tadasana. Now pose. Nice work. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, circle your arms up, set to set. Half the time, twice to push. Interlace your fingers above your head, steeple grip. Now take a breath, squeeze your biceps to ears to the right, half moon pose. Right away, come to that spot where you left off last set. Right hip, bring it back, left, left hip, bring it forward. Right shoulder back, or right shoulder forward, left shoulder back. Now breathe in, and then come past the other spot. Take a breath. Exhale, come down. Inhale. Exhale, come down. Hold right there. Squeeze. Find a new edge. Can you push that left hip further to the left? Breathe, 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 and change. Come on. Good. Inhale, lift up. To the left. Arda Chandraska. Half moon pose. Left shoulder forward. Right shoulder back. Engage your glutes so much. Squeeze them in. And take a deep breath. And then come down. Give the right hip a little bump forward, breathe in, and then come down. 
Squeeze the palms, no space between the palms. Breathe in and come down. Hold right there and then look up, not straight forward. Take a breath and come down, hold three. Hold two, inhale, rise, come up. Nice work. Now take a breath, lift up. Squeeze the glutes, draw a line across the ceiling into your second back bend. Look back between your hands. Draw a line back, way back, more back, breathe back, change. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach out and fold all the way down. Walk it out one more time. Go right, go left, right, left. All right, second set, pot and stops, hands to feet pose. Don't say I can't, just try your best. Someday you'll get there. Took me four years to touch my forehead and my shin. Now take a breath, lean into toes, exhale, straighten the legs and pull. Someday those elbows will touch behind your calves. Breathe in, lean, exhale, pull. Inhale, fill lungs, exhale, rock forward and pull. Take a deep breath. Exhale, pull, pull, and change. Bring your arms out, steeple grip. Breathe in, rise, all the way up. Exhale, arms by your sides, to Tadasana. Now pose. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Set your feet out to hip width distance apart. Awkward series, three parts. Bring your arms up, pull your shoulders back, lift your chest. Now take a breath and sit down onto a chair. Rock weight into your heels. Sit back, lift your chest like an upward facing dog. Good. Without moving your knees, squeeze your thighs slightly inwards. Take a breath, sit down one more inch. Lift your chest, make your neck one inch longer by softening the shoulders. The strength of the arms. Now rise for four, three, two, and one. Keep the arms up. Come straight up onto the ball now, tippy toes here. Press into the big toes, stay high. Take a breath and slide your back straight down the imaginary wall. Straight down the wall here. You have to lean back. The arms are your counterbalance. The lower you go, the higher you come up on the heels. Bring the heels a little higher, Michelle, a little higher. There it is. Good. Without moving the knees, squeeze them inwards. Shoulders back, chest high. Rise four, three, two, one. Feet set down, and then they turn inwards towards each other, pigeon toe. Knees squeeze together, heels lift two inches up off the mat. Take a breath, slide down your imaginary wall. Slide down, lean back into it. The lower you go, the tighter you squeeze those knees, squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. Three. Healthy knees pulse forward. Three, two, and rise four. Three, two, one, Tadasana. Arms by your sides, fingers spread wide. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Nice work. Second set, step back into that same footprint. Bring the arms up. Take a breath, sit down into your chair. Lift your toes up, bring your chest up higher. Breathe in, sit down one more inch. Rise four, three, two, come straight up onto your toes this time. Straight up, get those heels high. Good. Take a breath, slide your back down on the imaginary wall. Nice and slow. You have to lean back. The lower you go, the higher you come on the heels. Right heel up one more inch. Left heel one more inch. Knees squeeze inwards without moving them. Rise four, three, two, and one. Set them down. Feet turn inwards towards each other. Squeeze the thighs, knees tight. Lift the heels two inches, take a breath. Slide down that imaginary wall. Lean back. Lower you go, tighten you squeeze. Make sure the air is moving in and out, in 
and out. And then we rise for three, two, feet set together, arms by your sides. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Guardian Dasana, Eagle Pose. Inhale, circle your arms up overhead. Sweep the right arm underneath the left. Good. Now take a breath, set right back down into a chair. If you're just in a chair, sit back down. Now step out wide and then come up high. The higher the better with the rack. Good. Now lift your chest up and try to become the shortest person in class. Step down and back. Elbows squeeze down to your chest to your little over fingertips. And then change. Inhale, circle the arms up overhead. Exhale, left arm comes on the knee, right. Breathe in and sit right back to your chair. Left foot steps out wide and then bring up high. Good. If you just have the single wrap, point the foot towards the back. Yeah, there you go, Sarah. Now try not to round over and then sit down low, try to become the shortest person in the class. And then pull elbows down to your chest so you're looking over fingertips. Slow the breathing down, slow it down, slow it down. And then change. Inhale, circle the arms up overhead. Good. Second set, wrap right arm underneath left. Now take a deep breath. Exhale, sit down into your chair. Bring your right leg up high. Take your wrap. Single binds, point the foot back. Elbows squeeze down without rounding over. Try to look over fingertips. Sit back, sit down, come short. Good. Now this time, inhale your right leg up. Exhale, shoot it back. Take Hasana, Guardian Basana, Eagle Arms, Airplane. Find a spot, focus on that spot. Breathe, breathe. Now come up without touching the right foot on the mat. Bring it back up and over. Take your wrap one more time. Sit down low. And change. Inhale, circle, sweep your arms overhead. Nice work. Exhale, left arm comes underneath right. Good. Breathe in. Sit down into your chair. Step out wide. Bring it up high. Take your wrap. Left hip pulls back, right hip forward, and then sit down to your chair, sit down. Without rounding, squeeze the elbows down. On your next breath in, left leg comes up. Exhale, shoot it back, flex the toes towards you, take awesome, bring it up. Find a spot, focus on that spot, become one with it. And then we slowly trip the left foot back through, break up high, rewrap. It's worse, Sarah. And sit down low. And change. Inhale, circle the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Part of time, grab some water. Michelle, do you want one? <laughs> yeah. Do you want this either over there? No, okay. You sure? All right. To me, it's never one, though. <laughs> hey, yeah, I can't wait to get another beer in there. It's just, uh... it, it's never warm enough until you fall down. You just can't even do it anymore. And then you know it's warm enough. All right, let's get ready for our balancing sequence. First of all, bring your feet together, big toes touch, space between heels. Again, ground down and then firm up from the ground up. So engage quads, tailbone tilts forward, shoulders back. Standing forward at the knee, bring your right leg up, flex toes back towards your face. Press strong through the left big toe. It's perfectly fine to stay right here. Work on a strong balance, mind and body. If you do wish to move on, upright as arms come out to a T. 
Exhale, reach down, scoop under the ball now to the right foot. Interlace your fingers, webbing to webbing grip. Now pull your chest up high, pull your navel up high, pull your root on up. That's the muscles that would cut off the flow if you're using the rest of To move on, extend right leg forward. Drive the heel forward as you pull the toes back towards you here. Final expression. The elbows sink past the shin as you bring forehead towards the knee or shin. Then slowly, layer by layer, come back to a layer one. Take a breath and then step down. Give the left foot a little shake out. And then also shake it out mentally as well because each day it's going to be different. You're not always going to pull up that pose the way you want to pull it up. Now ground down again, firm up, and then bring left leg up, flex the toes towards your face. Again, it's 100% fine to stay right here today. Work on that strong, balanced mind and body. But if you do wish to move on, it's a breath, arms out to a T. Reach down, scoop under the ball mount of your left foot, webbing to webbing grip. Now pull your knee up high, bring your chest up, straighten right leg, and then you can work on straightening the left leg towards the front, pulling the foot back towards you. Maybe you stay right there or elbows sink down past shin, moving into the final expression of your standing forehead to knee. Breathe. And layer by layer, come back to a layer one. Step down and then shake the right foot out. Give it a little shake out. Good. Again, shake it out mentally because that pose was in the past. Yoga is about staying in the present. Only one set of standing for it to me, moving on to both going poles. Firm up and curl your right leg up. Reach down, grab the foot. From the inside, now bring your left arm up in the air with the palm facing forward. Begin to feel pressure in your right hand. Don't ever reach forward. The biggest mistake you can, you can make is reach. Feel that pressure. So now kick harder. Let the right shoulder roll back. Kick, 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 kick. kick. Then eventually you're kicking so hard that you can push the left arm out and look over the left middle finger with a straight left arm. Kick just a little bit harder as you focus and go within. Nice work. Kick, let that right shoulder go back and push the left arm forward just a little bit more. There you go, Mike. Push it forward. Three, you're almost there. And change. Inhale, circle the arms overhead. Exhale, arms by your sides. So that's Good. And bring the left leg up. Grab it from the inside, all five fingers over the top. And bring your right arm up, palm facing forward. Begin to kick into the palm lightly, feel the pressure. Then you start to kick hard. You kick harder and kick harder. Don't reach, try to stay upright. Kick harder and harder. Kick harder. Let that left shoulder go back. Push the right arm forward. Now you can work on it. Straighten the right arm, straight forward, as if to reach out, reach out, to save somebody, like here I am, here's my hand, grab my hand, I'll got you. Kick a little bit harder, push that right arm out, push it out, three, three, you're almost there, Yogis. you're almost there, and change, inhale, come up, exhale, arms to your sides, to us, mount pose. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Second set, right foot curls up, grab it from the inside, all five fingers over the top. Left arm comes up in the air, take your deep breath, kick, 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 do it with your hand first. Bring your left arm up, bring it up, now feel it with your hand. Kick a little harder, a little harder, breathe. Now push that left arm out, let the right shoulder go back. Good. Kick, breathe, 
Three, kick. Three, two, inhale, rise. Come up. Exhale, arms by your sides. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Last chance for standing bow, pulling pose. Left leg comes up, grab the foot. Right arm comes up. Begin to feel the pressure. Feel the pressure in your hands. Now really start to kick. Let the left shoulder go back. Kick hard. Keep the right arm up as long as you can. Kick harder. Now start to reach the right arm out. Look over the right middle finger. Breathe right over the right middle finger. Kick a little bit harder as the left shoulder goes back further. Push the right arm out with more strength. A little bit harder. You're almost there. Hold strong. Three, two, inhale, rise. Exhale, arms by your sides. Tadasana. Mountain pose. Nice work. A step to the back of your mat if you're not already there. Or Tula Dandasana. Balancing stick. Now you start to sweat, right? All right. Inhale, circle the arms up overhead. Good. Take a steeple grip here. Pull the elbows back. Bicep squeeze your ears. Now listen. Lift your right leg up. Take a big breath. Step way out. Point block the left foot back. Press into the right big toe. Straighten the left leg straight back. Straight back as you tilt forward. Press the toes back towards me. Press back now. Drop the chest to bring the arms up. Sarah, you're looking straight down between your hands. Point your foot straight back. Good. Drop your heart. Elbows up. Drop your heart. Elbows up. Left leg back. Straighten it. Straighten it. Breathe and change. Inhale. Step back. Yes. Sir. Good. Now, big breath. Left leg comes up. Take a big step. And then point block the right leg straight back as you tilt forward. Keep the elbows up high, drop the heart. Right foot comes up higher and points back towards your back wall. Point the foot, drop the heart. Lift the elbows, lift the elbows, point the leg, no bends in the leg whatsoever. Breathe and change. Inhale, step back on the exhale. Whew, arms by your sides. Tadasana, mountain pose. There's that. All right, let's take a quarter turn to the right. Rather, the left. Let's take a quarter turn to the left. You're the right. You got the other way, Mike. There you go. All right. You might want to step towards the edge of the mat. I still think that on the center of the posture. Or maybe you move your mat that way just a tiny, tiny bit. Yeah, there you go. All right, here we go. Inhale, circle your arms overhead. Four and a half foot step to the right, and then bring your arms out to the T. Check your feet, make sure they're straight forward. Now breathe in, lift your chest, look up, exhale, fold, nice and slow, into standing separate leg stretch. At the bottom of your fold, you want to step on all five fingers here. So either underneath the outside arches or underneath the heels if that's available. If neither are available, just grab your calves from the back. Now breathe in, shift weight into toes, exhale, pull. Breathe in, weight to toes, exhale, pull. Inhale, weight into toes, and then exhale, pull. Breathe in, weight forward, exhale, pull, pull, pull. Bring your arms down. Engage your core. Breathe in, lift up. Good. Now take a breath. Beautiful glide. Right hand, right leg, knee each other at the back of the mat, up above your head. Yep, that's it, Michelle. Exhale, arms by your side. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Inhale, circle sweep your arms up over the head. Second set, set, step four feet out to the side. This time, interlace your hands behind your back. Squeeze the palm, shoulders back. Take a deep breath, lift the chest, and then fold nice and slow. Right away, weight comes into your big toes. Look between your legs. 
Breathe in, palm squeeze forward. Breathe in, palm squeeze forward. Inhale, more weight to toes. Palm squeeze and fold. Good, and bring your hands down. Bring your arms up like airplane wings. Breathe in, rise. At the top, right to left, beautiful glide. Arms over your head. Arms by your sides, Tadasana, mountain pose. I don't know if I've ever made that move look beautiful, but just repeating what other people say. So. <laughs> there we go. Inhale, arms up over your head. Exhale, four and a half foot step out to the right. Point your right foot towards the front of the room. Bring your arms down into a warrior two stance. Check your back arm. Make sure it's nice and strong. Take a couple pulses into the front knee. Couple little pulses here into that front knee. Good. Now look back at the back hand. Breathe in, flip your palms open. Tilt. Right arm down, left arm up. Hot side trend. Good. Right away, feel all the pressure transfer from your right, rather your left big toe to the pinky toe on the left foot, that edge. Push it down. The back of your right elbow pushes your right knee out. Tuck your right hip under, try to stack left arm over right, look up to your arm, breathe, breathe, breathe. And change, lift, straighten your right leg, pivot your right foot towards the wall, now pivot left foot back towards the back wall. Then lunge down into the front knee, take a couple pulses down, a couple little pulses. Good. Look back at your back hand, flip palms, take a breath, tilt, left arm down, right arm up. Pressures in your right big toe. Transfer all that pressure into the outside edge of your right foot. Your elbow works the left knee, push it out, push it to the left. Left hip tucks under, and look at your top arm if that's okay with your neck. Turn your chin up to your top shoulder. Nice, Mike. That was good. Breathe, breathe. And then change. Lift, straighten. Pivot the left foot, sweep. Arms overhead, right foot leads left. Arms by your sides, to Dawson. Mountain pose. Breathe in and breathe out. Second set. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Four and a half foot step out to the right. Pivot right foot towards the front, and then lunge down into your lunge. Good. Give it a couple little pulses here. Couple pulses. Look back at your back hand. Flip palms. Take a breath. Tilt. Right arm down. Left arm up. Tuck the right hip under. Press strong into the left big toe. And then transfer that weight into the pinky edge, the outside edge of your foot. Right hip under. Try to step left shoulder over right. And turn your chin up to your top arm if that feels okay with your neck. And then change. Lift, pivot, pivot back foot towards me. Good. Now look at your back hand. Take a breath. And then tilt, left arm down, right arm up. Tuck your left hip under. Press strong down into your right pinky edge, the outside edge of your foot. Left elbow pushes hard against the left knee to open yourself up. Turn your chin up to your top arm if it feels okay with your, with your neck. Slow the breathing down, slow it down. Push air in, push air out. And change. Lift, pivot. Beautiful body. Arms over your head. Exhale, arms by your sides. Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale, swing the arms up overhead. Now lay your thumbs across each other in a prayer of grip. Step your right foot out three feet, half the distance. And then roll on your heels to the front of the class. 
Give your right hip a bump, bump back, left hip forward, and hold it. Now breathe in, reach out, bring your chin to your chest, forehead to your knee. Standing, forehead to knee. And once you touch the mat, you can release that prayer grip and walk hands back behind the right heel. Now, if you need to bend your right knee to make that connection, forehead to knee, bend the knee. It's all about that connection. It releases melatonin. It helps regulate your hormones with that chin tuck. It helps regulate your metabolism. And then bring the hands back to the prayer grip and breathe in to rise all the way up. Good. And then pivot on your heels towards the back. Set it up and pull left hip back, right hip forward. Bring your right foot through. Close your mind to your left side so they're almost there. You go. Pull left hip back, take a deep breath. Then tuck chin, bring forehead to knee as you reach up. Second set here. Left hip back, right hip forward. Pull. Pull the left hip back. Push the right hip forward. Hands can walk towards the front of the class, so towards your right heel this time to come down just a little bit deeper into the pose. Remember, if you need to bend the knee, then bend the knee. Above all, breathe, breathe, breathe. Let's change. Place your hands together, cross the thumbs. Inhale, lift out. Good. Now pivot towards me, towards your left, and then bring your arms by your side, step your feet together. Tadasana, mountain pose. Now turn towards the front of your mat once again for your final standing posture. Almost there, almost on your mat. Tree pose, hot style tree. Lift your right leg up, and then bring your left hand to the bottom of your foot. Grab the edge of your foot and bring it to your left hip crease. Tuck your tailbone under, lift your heart up. Then perhaps your right hand comes to your heart center, perhaps the left hand comes to your heart. You can stay right here, work on a strong, balanced mind and body, or toe stands. Inch forward at the hips with a straight left leg. Touch the mat. Then bend into the left knee. Tailbone comes down towards your heel. Heart up high. Toe stand, please. Begin to straighten your left leg. Hands down, straighten. Hinge right back up from the waist into tree pose. We all hold in tree. Focus. Almost there, and change. Release. Take the left foot. Give it a little shake out. A little shake out here. Good. And then bring your left leg up. Guide it to your right hip crease. Lift your heart up high. Tailbone tucks under. Press. Left hand comes to your heart center. Perhaps right hand comes to your heart. It's perfectly fine to stay right here. Toe stands in your practice. Inch forward at the hips. Touch the hands down. Then drop the hips down in the right knee. You're welcome to take any hand variation, arm variation you like. Grow your tree, grow your branches. And toe stands. Hands set down, hips lift up, then hinge right back up into tree pose. Everyone holds, you're almost there, and change. Left foot down, give it a little shake out. Hands to heart center, close your eyes, give a bow to your standing practice. Then lie down on your mats. Feet towards the front of your mat, head to the back. Your first boss.
In this Shavasana, traditionally the eyes are kept open. You find a place on the ceiling, you find a single point, you stare at this point, you breathe into that point. This practice that we're doing, Papa, it means sun and moon. It's about the equanimity of the universe. You can't have too much of one thing without something else in opposing force balancing everything out. In life, too much work equals too much stress. Make sure you take self-care. In Hatha, too much working postures without not giving yourself proper rest Put you out of your breath, out of your posture. So take as much time and care into your postures as into your resting postures. So when you're in these rest places, do them 100%. No thinking, no judgment, no self, maybe self talk, no to do list, no stress, just you, your breath, relaxing. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Halfway removing pose on the right. Bring your right knee up, interlace your fingers over the top of your right knee. Pull the knee around your rib cage down towards your armpit. Flex your left foot towards your face. Point your right foot towards the front of your mat. Tuck your chin slightly, take a deep breath. Exhale, pull. Try to roll your left shoulder down, left elbow pins in your rib cage. Breathe in. Exhale, pull. Inhale. Exhale, pull. Breathe in. Exhale, pull. Inhale. Exhale, pull, 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 and then change. Release right leg long onto your mat. Half wind removing pose, left side. Left leg comes up, interlace fingers over the top of your left knee, webbing to webbing rib here. Pull the knee around your rib cage, down towards your armpit. Right foot flexes towards you. Left foot points down towards the mat. Breathe in, exhale, pull. Bring your right shoulder down, breathe in. Right elbow drops down, pull. Inhale, exhale, pull. Deep breath in, exhale, pull. Pull, pull, and then change. Release the right leg, rather left leg long onto your mat. Full wind removing pose, both knees come up. Wrap both arms around both shins. Reach your opposite elbows, opposite wrist, and lie back. Now breathe in, exhale, pull. Tuck your chin so you're looking down between your shin, between your thighs. Breathe in, exhale, pull. Little tuck to the chin. Breathe in, exhale, pull. Pull, legs up the wall, pose, please. Place your hands underneath your hips. Flex your toes back towards your face. Now listen, take a deep breath, drop your heels 25% down. Hold right there, breathe in, drop 50%. Take a breath in, drop three quarters. Breathe in, hover heels two inches up off the mat, hover, hover, feet flex back towards you, chin to chest, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, breathe, and then release, feet down to the mat, arms by your sides. Deep breath in, deep breath out. For yogi setup, reach up over your head, cross your thumbs. 
Feet flex back towards you, feet together. Now a deep breath in. Exhale, sit up like grab your feet, drop your head. Good. Then turn around, lie down on your mat. Yeah, twerk that way into your. Yes, yeah, stomach down. Sorry, stomach down. Prepare for low cobra pose. Hands underneath your shoulders. Good. Toenails are down on the mat. Now listen, lift up your knees, engage your quads, keep the feet down for the whole move. Elbows in like grasshopper wings. Inhale, rise, little to no weight in your hands. Elbows in, engage your quads so much that squeeze your glutes. Lift up, look up, breathe up, more up, change. Right? Lay your left ear down, look to the right, arms by your sides, Tadasana, mountain pose. Second set of low cobra pose. Hands come under shoulders, elbows in like airplane wings, or rather like grasshopper wings, not airplane. Engage your quads so much in the kneecaps lift, and then breathe in, come up, peel up. Move it to no way to your hands. More up, shoulders back, elbows in, breathe up and change. Look the opposite way, right ear down, arms by your sides. Three part locust pose. Take your hands, palms down, wiggle your hips back and forth until your pinkies almost touch here. Now kiss the mat with your mouth. Ground down your left leg, right leg comes up. Point you off the foot. Engage your quad, reach the toes back towards the back. Roll your right hip down onto your right forearm. Now come up higher, come up higher, and then change right now. Left leg, bring it up. Point and lock the left foot. Try to iron out any bends by pointing the foot then the left hip rolls down on the left forearm, come up higher, come up higher, and change, bring it down. Then wiggle your hips back and forth until you get your hands almost touching here, if not touching pinky fingers. Kiss the mat with your mouth. Inhale, both legs come up. Rock weight to your shoulders. Bring them up higher, higher. Engage those quads, reach those toes higher. Breathe, and then come down. Rock back and forth, get those arms out from underneath you. That's where the magic happens. The blood flow rushes in, bringing synovial fluid to your hands, your wrists, your fingers. In full locust pose, both arms come straight out like airplane wings this time. Yes, and big toes touch, feet on the top, empty the lungs. Inhale, legs and arms take flight. Good. Now, try to bring your elbows up above your head. Come up higher with it. Now, bring your chest up. Look up the wall and try to bring your heels up over your back a little bit more. Come up higher. Breathe up. Change. Release. Look the opposite way. Ah, arms by your sides. Let's put it all together with a floor bow. Two sets of floor bow here. Heels curl up. And then reach back, grab your feet. Once you've got your feet here, the knees come pretty close together, not just a few inches apart. Empty out your lungs. Ha. Inhale, kick, 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 kick into that beautiful bump. Let the shoulders roll back, back into the kick. Come up a little bit higher. Look up, breathe up, more up, and then change. Release down to your mat with the opposite way. One more set because it's so good for you. Curl your heels up, reach back, grab your feet. Once you've got the feet, empty the lungs out. Ah. And then inhale, kick, 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 look up, up, breathe up. Let those shoulders roll back into the kick. 
Now look up. Those that know how to kick hard, kick, 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 and squeeze thighs towards each other. Kick up, breathe up, and change. Go the opposite way. Then place your hands underneath your shoulders here. Take a breath, bring your arms, up, or rather, bring your feet out to the corners of the mat, moving into child's pose. Breathe in, exhale, whole, exhale, child's pose, push back. Then break yourself up onto your knees. Walk your knees towards the front half of your mat or face firm pose. Bring your feet out wide on your mat and then sit down between your feet. Good, the knees stay together. If that feels intense, that's your place right there. If you want more, you can walk one elbow back at a time one elbow back at a time until you're actually lying on your back and then you can reach for opposite elbows up over your head. So many different layers you can take. And then slowly walk yourself back up, come up over the top, walk your knees towards the back half of your mat in the hero's pose. Good, half towards pose, a breath in, arms up, cross the thumbs, hips stay on the heels, lead with your heart as you slowly go down. Maybe you bring your forehead down to the mat before anything else touches. Lengthen your arms out, and then lift the elbows up so they're off the mat, and press it to the fingertips, the pinky edge here, to drive your hips back over your heels a little bit more. Lead with the back of your heart as you come out. Inhale, rise up. Good. And exhale, arms by your sides. Camel pose, two sets. This is your peak back, back there and come to standing on your knees. Bring your knees hip width distance apart. Place your hands where pockets would be. Elbows squeeze in. Now roll from your heart, or rather your navel, through your heart and chin. Inhale, go back. Drop your head back, push your hips forward. Only if you can see your heels, or rather the back wall, should you reach for your heels. There we go. Now lift your hips up a little bit harder, and then lift your heart up. Good, and slowly come back up, and sit back in hero's pose once again. A deep breath in. Deep breath out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Second set of camel pose. Come to standing on your knees. Knees hip width distance apart. Hands where pockets would be. Elbows in. Now roll your back bend from navel through chin. Breathe in. You're actually bending through the middle of your back. Good. If only you can see the back wall, should you worry about grabbing those heels. Now press your heart up higher. Breathe, breathe. And then slowly come up and set back on your heels in hero's pose. Hands on your thighs, breathe in. 
Breathe out. Rabbit pose. Reach back, grab your heels. Thumbs on the outsides here. Now, if that doesn't work for you, roll a towel up tight onto your heels. You can use a shirt, a towel, whatever's available. Now, breathe in, get tall. And then tuck your chin and round over like a caterpillar all the way down. Once you reach the ground, then you pull on the heels. Use your biceps to come up a little higher. So you kind of like the top of your head down, like the top of your head. Yeah, there you go. And then pull on the heels to raise the hips. Go. And like a caterpillar uncurling, come back up the same way. Chin releases last at the top. Shift your hips to either side for final stretch and bring your legs straight out in front. Right foot to the right corner of your mat, left foot inside for seated separate leg stretch. Walk your hips back, pop, pop your butt to the back. Good, now breathe in, reach up, twist to the right, and then fold down on the exhale. If you can interlace your fingers over the top of your foot, interlace. If you can't, that's fine. If you need to bend your knee, that's fine too. You just kick into your hands with a bent knee. Breathe in. Drop the left shoulder and then pull. Breathe in, left shoulder drops, pull. Elbows sink down past your shin. Breathe in, exhale, pull. Inhale, exhale, pull, pull, pull. And take a breath as you lift out of your pull. Good. Let's switch the legs out here. Left leg, left corner, right foot comes inside. Hips walk, walk, walk back towards the back. Good, now breathe in, reach. Twist the left, exhale, pull. Again, if you need to bend your knee, bend your knee, get your foot here. Drop your head down, right shoulder, drop it. Breathe in, and then pull. Inhale, exhale, pull. Breathe in, exhale, pull. Drop the right shoulder, breathe in, exhale, pull, 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 and then change. Breathe in and rise. Good. Both legs come straight out in front of you with final seated pull. Pop your hips to the back, wiggle the hips back, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right, breathe in, arms up. Identify peace fingers, grab your big toes with peace fingers. Get your thumb in there. Now, from there, shuffle one hip at a time, back. Right hip, left hip. Pop, 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 back. Good, now, take a breath, look forward. Elbows drop down, pull. Breathe in, look forward. Exhale, use biceps and pull. The elbows are going out wider and wider. Breathe in, look. Exhale, pull. Inhale, and exhale, pull, pull. Pull. Breathe in, rise. Good work. All right, the final twisting, your final twisting. Bring your left heel in towards your perineum, and then bring your right leg up and over. Bring your right hand directly behind the right hip. Plant it down. Get a little closer line with the right hand. Good. Now bring the left elbow up over the knee. Take a breath, power through the right arm. Exhale, twist. Breathe in, power through the arm. Exhale, twist. Try to see the back wall with your right eye. Breathe in, and then twist. You're getting deeper into the twist, so now you should start to see the back wall with your left eye. Breathe in, exhale, twist. Inhale, get straight up and down. Exhale, twist, rinse, detox. Breathe and change. Trigger your legs out. Right heel comes in, left heel up and over. So your right knee is almost straight forward. And then the left hand is directly back to the left hip. Come up straight with your spine. 
Now put right elbow, and then we work. Breathe in, and twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. Left eye sees the back wall. Breathe in, power through the twist. Left arm is your, the key. Breathe in, exhale, right elbow pushes, twist. Now you're seeing the back wall with your right eye. In, inhale, exhale, twist. Rinse, twist, detox, push, and change. So now come to setting for your final on the breathing. Come to setting in heroes pose or if it feels right better, set cross leg. So the breathing is actually, it's a snap of your diaphragm. It's a So take a deep breath in and go. Slow it down in your thing. There it is. There it is. Good. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, open mouth, breathe in, breathe out. Yoga is the training ground for life. It allows you to slow everything down. It gives you that extra breath, that extra second. So before you judge or criticize or say something that you wouldn't normally say, remember, slow down, take self-care, take a couple deep breaths, and proceed from there. See what comes out. There's a teacher inside of every human being, but it's up to you to find that teacher. Roll to your favorite side. Use your arm for a pillow. Fetal position is the place between yoga and life. And please bring yourself up to an easy seat, Sukhasana, at the top of your mat. Bring your hands to your heart center. Lift your heart up high, shoulders back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Then bring your thumbs up to your third eye center, the space between your eyebrows. Remember, Seek the teacher in all things. We bow forward. Seal in your practice. Namaste.
Thank you so much, yogis, for coming to class. And yogis at home, thank you Namaste. so much, yogis. Um, I think a couple more of you might have joined during class, but um, or no, it's just it's uh, so, still just you, Tanya. But uh, yeah, thanks a lot for coming, Tanya, and I will speak to you soon. Let me know how the sound was on your side of things. Uh, go ahead and text me and let me know. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. That's nice, Brian. I like that sequence. I don't realize how